We are the keepers of the flame, the sacred order. Let the ceremony begin. And today, Faithful Acolytes, we take a look at this. And what this is from El Monterey, it is the ghost pepper, rice, bean, and chicken flavored chimichangas. That there chimichanga. So we got, funny story, I just happened to be cruising, cruising the frozen food aisle. I was looking for one of those, I don't know if it's El Monterey's or whose it is, but there was a, the supersized red hot bean and beef burritos. And it, they're garbage food, they're total garbage food, but sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you just get a little taste for the garbage. Anyway, I was looking for one of those and suddenly I saw this. And you know, you know that this had my interest immediately upon that. So we've got the wheat flour, vegetable oil, beans, cooked chicken, and 2% or less, but check this out. Ghost pepper chili. So, 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 what do we think that means? Do we think we're actually using a ghost pepper puree in here? Maybe. Maybe, maybe for America's number one frozen burrito. I don't know, we'll find out. So let's open this up, take a look at these things. These things are, oh, let's see how unhealthy these are. Oh, there's only 230 of these per chimichanga. And uh, I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put these in a different bag. This is not a resealable bag, but uh, let's, one. Ooh, these are tiny. Okay, so we're going to get these on a plate, get them in a the microwave, and we'll be right back to sample the wares as a toir and see what we have here. Okay, here we can see uh, we had a little bit of chimichangas making poopies. Chimichanga bean poopy here. That's all right. Uh, let's, right. Let's move this out of the way. Let's see if we can, let's, uh, let's do this one. All right, let's see here. All right, so we're gonna try to see what we can see here. So I see beans, I see rice. Don't, hmm, I don't see any chicken. There's gonna be chicken in this, right? I'll see chicken, I don't, I don't actually see the ghost peppers, but for them being less than 2% of this, I honestly don't ex expect to either. Let's get a nice little good look here. All right, I guess we might as well just try this thing out and see what it's all about. Well, I'm definitely getting chili pepper of some kind. Ooh, uh, there's just a tiny bit of heat there. Mostly this is like a bean and cheese. So we don't have the regular arbol or anything. As far as those go, we did onion, garlic, the usual suspects there. So it appears like they maybe just gone with ghost pepper instead of the arbol. It's not bad. Like every every one of these frozen burritos winds up a little dry for me. It's 
sám. Fresh out of the microwave. It's a little, a little dry. I'm trying to get a sense here for how hot this actually is. Definitely it's a default one. You can tell they're trying to go for some spice here. But the flavoring is actually pretty solid for this type of thing. When you get these, you don't confuse these for getting something gourmet or, or good even. Surprisingly, it's not bad. These are palatable enough to eat on their own without a sauce. Flavor is good enough. Definitely better than expected. I wish there was more heat to it though. I mean look, they've got the whole package on fire. I think they have the decency at least to give me a little bit of a burn. Oh, can we can we balance this? I'm thinking no. Thinking definitely. I don't think we can. Alright. A little bitter, a little bitterness there. Definitely get a feel for the super hots here. I'm gonna give this a legit one. There's enough of a build that I will give this. I will give this a legit one. I don't feel, feel like people are gonna to be too challenged by this though. There's a lot of tortilla here. The filling is not bad. I wish there wasn't rice in it. In terms of flavor, it actually is surprisingly good for this type of food. All right, we have just a little bit left here. Yeah, I'll give this a legit one. I'm going to step on a little bit with the Retsuka Rage. It's the only ghost pepper sauce I have open right now. Normally I wouldn't put this on uh, Mexican style food. I, I have no idea if it's going to be any good or not. So we have ghost, we have habanero. Uh, there is a Written review for this available in the link to the blog below. And I, it, by the time you see this, the video accompaniment may or may not be up. But if not, it'll be up probably in fairly short order. Stay tuned. The red wine vinegar that's in there is a little bit jarring, otherwise, this is surprisingly okay. Well, definitely much hotter now. All right. What can I say? I didn't see this coming. I didn't. I don't need those. I didn't uh, even know this existed up until literally. Five to ten minutes before shooting this video. <laughs> That's how fresh and new this is for me. I like these actually. These are, uh, I'm going to keep these on hand. These are pretty solid. I, and I'm just shocked because most of their other stuff is 
let's be real here. You're not buying this because it's great. But these are, wow. I, I am I'm actually kind of impressed with these. And I've got six more of them. It's only 230 calories a whack. You can have a couple of them to scratch that itch. Obviously, they're not super healthy, but you can get a nice little ghost pepper charge out of these. The filling is actually pretty palatable. It's pretty solid. So as far as I'm concerned, this is a win. I give it a legit one. And uh, it's rare that I see a lot of frozen stuff that, uh, that actually is, is solid, let alone good. This is definitely one of the better ones out there. So I, don't know, I, I give this a good. Definitely if you're, uh, I don't think it challenges too many people. So I would say if you're interested in this type of food, if you get their other uh, frozen things, if you like frozen kind of garbage burritos, and you're looking at uh, maybe getting some different flavor, maybe trying to push the heat a little bit, excellent choice. And this was like six bucks for eight of these, so not a bad price. Which is, you know, probably the real reason we're buying anything from El Monterey in the first place, right? Let's be real. Let's be real. So, but, uh, yeah. They're a uh, very, very, very solid choice. They could use some cheese. So you might want to add cheese to these. When you make them, just melt some cheese on them in the microwave. And I personally find it a bit dry. So I'll be having salt on uh, whatever, uh, whenever I have more of these, but very, very minor quibbles. And some of those are just personal preferences. So uh, there you go. But uh, yeah, very, very solid outing, surprisingly. From El Monterey, it is the ghost pepper rice bean and chicken flavored chimichangas. Number four, in peace to serve the flame.